Happy Halloween, Digital Animation. Um, now that we have our pumpkins made, we wanted to build some faces out of these. It's going to be a relatively simple process, a little bit different than what you've been doing before. The first thing you're going to want to do is, now that you have these pumpkins set, um, go ahead and save. Hopefully you call them something like pumpkins or something. Um, right? You call them pumpkins or something. And I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As, and now I'm going to call them like jack-o'-lantern face one, or jack-o'-lantern faces, or whatever it is, right? Um, the concept's gonna be the same for both, and I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna complete the face here for the demo, I just wanna show you how to get started. So what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna delete some of the faces on whatever pumpkin you want of where you think the eyes are gonna be. What I would do is, before you start cutting and moving stuff around, decide on what type of face you need. Do you want a pumpkin with a nose, or do you want a pumpkin without a nose? Do you want a pumpkin with three eyes? Like, um, just do a Google search for pumpkins and try to find a pumpkin, or jack-o'-lantern, excuse me, that you want to make. Try to keep it a face, though, okay? All right. So do, now that you've done some research, you have an idea, I'm going to make a pumpkin with two eyes and a mouth and no nose for this one, and maybe I'll do a nose for that one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to face mode, and I'm going to make one big eye. So I'm going to delete some of the faces in the area where I want to delete the eye. One, two, and make sure you get the ridges. I am in three mode. And maybe I'll even go all the way up here, something like that. And I'll hit delete. And that's one of my eyes. And then I'll do the other eye, and the other eye is going to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do... So I'm making kind of like a goofy pumpkin because that's the shape. And then I'm going to do just some sort of big smile. So I'm going to go probably here. And I, just deleting a bunch of faces. Should I go big? Yeah, I'll go. I'll get all these. I'm just adding faces. Boop, 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 boop. And then I'm going to start to bring that, uh, leave that. I, I want to make sure I have enough space between the eye and the mouth, so that's why I didn't select that one face. Maybe I'll even go all the way over to these ridges, give it a nice big smile, big goofy smile for this one. Right? There we go. So you already see I already got a decent face happening here, and now what I'm going to do is with vertexes, I'm going to slowly move, like this is not a good eye, so I'm going to slowly shape and move these vertexes around. At the ridges parts, be careful you don't warp the ridge too much. So try to keep the shape of that ridge as you're moving them. So maybe select three at a time. You can also add more. Um, if you need more to sculpt more, you can also add more with edge loops. Uh, and you can pull stuff around. I'm just going to make this a little bit more circular. Um, and you can see in three mode, right? I'm keeping it in three mode. Then this one, you know, I'm going to grab these guys here and drop these down maybe. And then maybe grab these, give this more of a flat down. And then I'd round these out. So you guys get the idea. So slowly and surely by moving some vertexes around. Oops, I accidentally grabbed the vertex behind there. Um, you get the idea. The other thing you do is like if you wanted to make teeth or like an eyeball, like like for example, where was that one? Like if I wanted to make a little eyeball insert like these right here, right, um, or that, I can extrude out more edges. So I can also, once I kind of have the shape I want, if I wanted to kind of make like an eyeball kind of like to make them look cross-eyed or something, I can extrude out on the edges and pull that out and then, and then manipulate those vertexes to kind of make a round shape, right? So you can really make what other, whatever shape you want, um, and you don't, you're not, if you, so have some fun with it, right? Make, make the jack-o'-lantern you've always wanted to make. And it's going to get a little tricky, but you can do it, I believe in you. Let me pull this one way down. Looks like this guy needs to get way over. Every once in a while, double check in one mode. Uh, it's like that ridge right there. And I'll be reshaping that. Um, for the simple pumpkin, you might need to start off with some edge loops. Or you might need to 
cut the holes. So if I'm doing this one, you definitely want to leave some space, right? So that can't be two eyes. I'd have to do probably, I definitely want to do an edge loop here first. So for the short one, I can do insert edge loop. I'm just going to cut these in half just to give myself a few more sets of vertices. And I'm really going to try and keep this one minimal though, because this one's, remember what I was calling was easy mode. I'm going to leave these two alone. I'm going to cut those two. Those are going to be my eyeballs. Actually, I'll do some big eyes, all right? And then I'll do a, that'll be my mouth, all right? And again, I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to start moving these vertices around until I'm getting the general shape of what I want my jack-o'-lantern to look like. And again, I could still extrude out edges if I wanted to. One last thing is as you get going, um, like if I wanted to do teeth, like what, if I wanted to give this guy teeth or fangs or tooth, I can go to edges here and I can extrude out and now he's got a tooth. And if I wanted to shrink it, now he's got a fang, right? So now I have a, and again, you guys take a lot more time to create that, but there you go. Arr. We, the next thing we're going to do is just to get yourself in the mood, if you wanted to make sure that you're in the Halloween spirit, you can make these orange by right-clicking, going to Assign Favorite Material Lambert, and you can choose color, and then go ahead and pick that orange color. And then once you get it for one, you can do it for the other, right-click. You don't have to do this, but if you just wanted to be in the Halloween spirit a little bit more, and to kind of get a better look and feel for what an orange pumpkin would look like. You just assign a favorite Lambert. So I'm gonna, I'm not done. I still gotta reshape these out with vertices, but I wanted to give you a quick little glimpse onto how to shape these vertexes. Uh, the next lesson will be how to get these ready for 3D printing. That will be the next lesson. So have fun sculpting your faces. These are obviously not done. Um, I still gotta work some work to do to make them rounder and I gotta pull this forward because it's getting a little bit too close to the bottom. And you can always start over because you did a save as. So if I was like, oh, I messed up on that face, I can always go back to my original file right here. And I can do them again. That's why we save as. So make sure you save as before you start anything else. All right, enjoy making your pumpkins. Jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs>